Hello, my name is Ann Schultze. Um, my husband Martin and I own Schultze Vineyards and Winery. We opened in May of 2007. This uh, area of Niagara County is farmland. And uh, in uh, 1969, my husband Martin and his family bought our farm, a 120 acre farm, um, and it had native grapes on it, uh, the, the Niagara and Concord grapes. And in the last 35 or more years, they have planted eight other varieties of grapes uh, with this dream of opening a winery. Martin Schulze and welcome to our winery. And these I planted in uh, 72 which okay. 40 Oh, yeah. 40 years old. We have quite a um, vineyard uh, block of the Niagara grape, which is native. It is a grape that was developed right here in Niagara County in 1882 from the Concord grape. The Concord and the Cassidy uh, are what make up the Niagara grape. And it is a, a green grape, and you'll find um, people people love this grape. It, it tastes like biting right into a grape, the wine. It's a, a white wine, and it is the first grape that we harvest, middle of September this year. And you'll, you'll also see our Johannesburg Riesling grapes, our Chardonnay grapes. The training system for Chardonnay is ideal. Our Siegfried grapes, which is a German hybrid, our Vidal Blanc grapes, uh, a French hybrid grape. The, that uh, Vidal is the grape that our ice wine is made from. We also grow Catawba, which is a, a native grape here, and Cabernet Franc, which is a beautiful vinifera. Uh, for our dry and semi-dry red wines. Uh, a small block of Cabernet Sauvignon, which is actually a little more difficult in the four seasons that we have here in Niagara County. Martin um, came when he was about 17 years old to the farm and um, he married me 14 years ago and we were able to um, get ourselves organized with our New York State liquor license and all the things you know you have to do and we started um, at our home and built this tasting room on our farm which uh, consists of beautiful bar and cabinets made from black cherry wood that my husband and his dad cut right off of our farm and, and this um, wood was just rough cut. A local friend who builds cabinets built it all for us. 
and um, with the help of our first winemaker, we started this. Actually, a uh, hundred cases of wine, five varieties, twenty cases of each, and today. Ten years later, we're at 10,000 cases. We distilled okay. the camphor uh, and added that back in the traditional way of preserving the old way, the okay. wine from oxidizing. It's 18% alcohol. Same product, same wine as is in the bottle. And it's six years old. That's, a, that's what we can do if we have the time. There's some oak to begin with. Okay. And then we separated it out, blended it, bottled it. Our winemaker, Jonathan Oakes, uh, his family are good friends of ours. They run Leonard Oakes Winery, and Jonathan does his family winemaking and he does our winemaking. Our, our winery uh, here is family run. Uh, we have two sons that work with us. My oldest son, Tyler, is our marketing and technical um, man, and he manages the tasting room. And our youngest son, Sean, works with my husband, Martin, with the farm, and they both help our winemaker um, with the winemaking, bottling, etc. This is the Baidel in this block over here. And I just, again, gave you enough to, to get a feel of it because it's only 9.2 percent. Yeah? Okay. And this is the same, that's the wine from this, the still wine. You could actually try the, how the how this develops. This is the wine made after harvest. Just give it a, a nose. And this is the same grape we later let Oh have. yes, I, I had remarked yeah. the, the nose. Of and that's how it intensifies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So plum. To me it's apricot. Apri oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody has a different uh, interpretation of the chemistry. Oh yeah, no, apricot is more just. Oh. Oh, this is very good. You press it outside. Outside, because it can't melt. Oh, okay, yes, that's true. The, that's true. the, the water has to stay ice. Okay. So you squeeze, uh, what you're doing, the ice stays frozen, but the juice around it comes out. Nothing chapterized, nothing. The first uh, American medals you need. Thomas oh. Jefferson was a wine making enthusiast. enthusiast. Oh, I didn't know this. And this is the Native American Catawba. 60% uh, of our sales are sweet yeah, mm. in this local. And I'm trying to develop the, what we can really do the, the Catawba. Ah, finally. Oh, and okay. that's the reason we, we 
you were asking about the Niger, as you took a picture of the Niger grape. Yeah. We one year, five six years ago, we forgot to pick a half a row. We just didn't see it. Oh, okay. We saw them hanging there in the middle of winter, and they were frozen, and we made ice wine from ah. it. But it did not work. No. It turned out beautiful, sweet, the juice, and it fermented nicely. But when we stopped it, it became diesel fuel. Oh yeah. It has this aroma that's very obnoxious, oh, and you okay. couldn't drink it. Oh, okay. But this is the Catawba grape, and it does. Is the latest of all the grapes to ripen. Okay. Around what date? Harvest. Unpredictable. We really really usually last in January, sometimes December, could be February. Oh yeah. We have to wait for these preferably three days of 10 to 12, 13 degrees Fahrenheit, okay. which is I think around minus 8 Celsius. Minus 8 Celsius. And you have to pick without sunlight or at night. Oh yeah. Because the sun will, will hit the ah, skin. Okay. And the water is the first thing to melt. Yeah, yeah, it's It was taken oh. by the Thomas Jefferson. Jeff Thomas Jefferson's area time to France and the wine too, and they won actually oh, some. Okay. And that's the. It's nice to compare the two. And that's a native grape. We would love you to stop by and, and visit us. Our tasting room is open seven days a week. We are very um, excited to meet people from all over the country. We have Niagara Falls in our backyard, so we get people from all over the world. Thank you very much.